A Stanford engineering grad has created a line of toys to stem the tide of men outnumbering women in STEM careers, which are those in the science, technology, engineering, and math industries. Here to tell us about the Oakland-based business is Debbie Sterling, founder of Goldie Blocks. Hi, Debbie. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, first things first, let's get the numbers. How many women are in the engineering industry? It's pretty low. Only 11 percent of wow. engineers in the U.S. are women. And you actually took this path, so you're one of the few. How did you end up doing that? I got really lucky. Growing up, I was never interested in engineering at all, but I had a math teacher who told me I should check it out. And I remember I was so embarrassed because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> But her voice stuck in my head, so I took an introductory class at Stanford my freshman year, and loved it. I loved it. Why, why the discrepancy? What, what do you think the reason is behind it? Well, engineering is presented as very male-dominated and very intimidating, and that starts when we're really young. Yeah, tell us how the toy aisle actually perpetuates this trend. So engineering, it, it comes across as a boys' club, and you have Bob... Bob the Builder, Handy Manny, Phil Nye the Science Guy, mm -hmm. Lego Man, Erector Sets, they've been very overtly marketed to boys and it sends the message that math and science and building is for boys and dolls and princesses are for girls. Right, and there's nothing wrong with that, but we definitely want to give them more choices, right? They should just know what's out there. They should know that these fields are fun and you can change the world with engineering and they should know that they can do it too. Now, you did a lot of research to come up with this toy line, um, Goldie Blocks. What did you find when you were looking at how girls play and learn versus how boys play and learn? Well, this was what was so cool. So designing Goldie Blocks, I went back to my engineering roots and we learned in my engineering program at Stanford all about user-centered design. So what is it about girls? What are they like? And mm -hmm. how could I hook them to engineering beyond just making it pink? Uh -huh. And what I learned is that girls love reading and stories and characters. So I created Goldie Blocks, the girl inventor, <laughs> and she solves problems by building machines. And so the girls well, get to build with Goldie. Let's talk about how this works. So here is one of the Goldie Blocks books. So you you kind of you read through it and you follow her adventure and then this particular toy right here is this what you would build after reading this this is one of the many things that you could build after reading this story mm -hmm. so this this one that we just launched in it is a story about a girl who loses a competition and the winner would have gotten to ride through town in the town parade and so Goldie and her friends build the girl a parade float so that she can be part of the action well speaking of competitions you guys are a finalist in this small business big ideas contest that Intuit is throwing and tell us what you're up for as far as the prize. So we're up for a 30 second spot in the third quarter of the big game in February which is really just the opportunity of a lifetime to get our mission and message out to over 100 million viewers. Wow. So it's, you'd get a commercial in the Super Bowl. Yes. That's amazing. And video-wise, let's talk about this awesome viral video that you guys just released featuring some girls who take on this message. Well, we were just thinking, how can we make engineering and building and technology cool for girls? And mm -hmm. there's no cooler representation of engineering than a Rube Goldberg machine. And we thought, why not make one out of toys? Yeah. So we put it up. It's been going viral. And I think it just shows the world uh, what we could do with that with that Super Bowl spot if we if we had the, the chance to win. Yeah. Do you have a concept for the Super Bowl ad yet or oh, not, not there yet? Oh, we've got about... 500 million concepts. Can you share a little piece with us? Well, one of the front runners right now that we like is uh, a group of girls in, in tutu storming the end zone. Something involving <laughs> that I think would be pretty awesome. That sounds great. And your Goldie Blocks line is actually available Amazon and Toys R Us and on your website, right? It is. And we're also in over 600 specialty stores across the U.S. What's and the so reaction been? Parents, teachers, even the kids? You know, the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. It's, it's so wonderful. We're scratching an itch. There's a huge space to fill, and we're just getting started. We have so much down the pike, but it's the best part is to see what the girls are making out of this stuff because their creativity is just unlimited. I know. I might have to play with this during the commercial break. Debbie, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right. To purchase Goldie Blocks or to access a link to vote for Goldie Blocks in that contest for a Super Bowl commercial, head on over to GoldieBlocks.com.